in this screencast, we're going to prove that the rationals are not connected. And this is really an exercise in the definition of separated. So you might want to open up your book to that page. And so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to separate Q into two different parts. All right, we need an A and a B. So here's what they are. Our favorite irrational number squared to 2. So my A is I'm going to pick all the irrational numbers over here. Q intersect negative infinity to square root of 2. Now my B is going to be basically on the right side. My B is going to equal all the irrationals on the right side. Now, if, uh, if the rationals are disconnected in, in the way that I'm about to tell you, that means that I need to have these two sets have to be completely separate. Moreover, any limit point of A cannot be in B and vice versa. So the way we say that is we need A intersect B equals B hat intersect A has to be the empty set. Well, let's look and see what these limit points could be. A hat, meaning A and its limit points, the, the biggest A could be is this entire interval negative infinity to square root of 2, because I'm intersecting with, with something with that. And the limit points of this are contained in negative infinity comma square root of 2 close bar. So that's the biggest it could be. And notice that if I intersect B with both of these, I get the empty set because the only questionable thing, the only thing that this might have in common is square root of 2. But B clearly excludes the square root of 2 because it's not rational and it's not in the interval right there. And very similarly, the limit points of b and also b is contained inside square root of 2 comma infinity. So if I intersect a with both of these, I'm going to get that once again. The only questionable, oh, yeah, it has to be contained inside the b, the, the closure of b has to be contained inside the closed interval like that. The, the only questionable part is square root of 2, but square root of 2 is not in a because it's not in this and it's not in that both. So this has to equal the empty set. So by definition of separated, A and B are separated. So by definition of disconnected, Q which I can write as A union B is disconnected. Why is it disconnected? Well, because I can write it as A union B where A and B have this nice property where, where B intersect the closure of A is empty and A intersect the closure of B is empty. So really this is just an application of separated and what it really means is take your favorite irrational number, square root of two, you could use pi or whatever, and you can separate this into two sets the rationals to the left of your irrational number and the rationals to the right. Since you can separate it, they're not connected. They don't, there's a barrier here at square root of two. And we'll be done.